Hey guys, what is up? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to recreate the folding text that a lot of YouTubers use. And it's super simple and credits to X Ed XX editing hacks XX because they actually came up with this, but I actually am going to be doing a little bit different, so I'm not going to copy it completely, just a little bit. I'll leave the channel in the description below if you want to go check it out. So first what you want to do is head over to PicMonkey and click on Design. Then you want to click on Transparent Canvas, apply that, go to the little butterfly, which is Overlays. Then you want to click on Geometric and click on the first rectangle. Then this is going to see how large your text is going to be. I'm just going to do this. I really don't want it to be that big. You can of course change the color if you like, but I'd rather not. So next I'm going to go to text and then I'm just going to click on add text. And then when I click on add text, you can just add whatever kind of text you'd like. Um, I'm just going to say, uh, hello, I guess. Oops. Oh my goodness. Okay, I do not know how to spell. And then I'm just going to turn that uh, to a uh, Arial black font, but you know I can do another type of font. So I'm so sorry. My um ah oh, I can't even see the okay. I'm sorry. Um and then I'm going to change the color, which I'm going to change it to white so you can see it perfectly clear. Then I'm going to make the text much larger and then place it on to the black. And then I can just touch up um, whatever. Like this. Okay. So next I'm going to go back to the little butterfly and click on the same shape that I clicked on last time. I'm going to try to make it the exact same size. Then I'm going to lower this down. Oh wait, nope, can't lower it. Down. Then I'm going to change actually the color uh, like to a light gray, but a kind of a light gray, kind of a dark gray. You know, the use, oh my goodness, nope, what just happened? I want a light gray. Not that's actually a little bit too gray for me, but that's okay. Then I'm going to overlay it. And it's okay if some of it goes out of the rectangle, but you kind of want to have it on spot. Then go ahead and make the line super, super, super small. Then um, you can just adjust this and put it to the very top. like so and you're done um actually that's the wrong color i'm sorry about that okay just you make sure want to make sure that the color is a light gray i don't know why it, my computer's doing that so then what you want to do is you want to click on the crop tool and click on crop and you just want to crop it um, it does not have to be perfect, but if you want it to be perfect, then you can go ahead and try to do it perfect. Um, of course, I leave some extra space, but it doesn't matter. I mean, it's all going to be transparent. It does not matter, but whatever. So then go ahead and save that, and then go into Camtasia Studio. And go ahead and import the picture. And I know I spelled tutorial wrong. I did that on purpose so people wouldn't think that I took this from someone else. It's completely mine, so that's why it that's why it's spelled like that because I didn't want to, I didn't want to, people to think that I stole it because it's mine. So now what you want to do is click on visual properties, click on um not visual properties, click on um uh what am I? <laughs> call out and then click on add call out and then go down twice and find this 
then change the color. I'm going to change the color to like a very bright green. And then I'm just going to adjust it to the screen. It does not matter, so if it goes out, it just seriously does not matter. So then and I'm going to click on send to back, so it can be like this. Okay, so now I'm going to grab the clip, and I'm going to make it a lot smaller. Not a lot, just smaller. And I'm going to make do it sideways. Click on transitions, then click on um old and put it like this then it should look something like this so then once you're done um, figuring out how to do that you might uh, go ahead and click on file and save project so then just save this project I already saved it so that's why I'm deleting it oh wait this is the I'm just delete anyway. Um, so after I saved the project, this is the project that I already saved because I had it in my clip bin already. So it looks like this. And then I'm going to actually have an image underneath it. And I'm going to click on visual properties and then click on remove color and then click on this and select color to remove that color. There we go. And then you want to turn it sideways. And you can make it bigger if you want. You can even make it smaller. It doesn't really matter. I guess I'll do it like this. Put it right here. And then it should look like this. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below. And go. make sure to go check out XX Editing Hacks XX channel. Bye.